Hi, this is Angie Taylor here. I'm just posting this tutorial just to give people a bit of a heads up about what to do with the new Creative Cloud release today. Um, the first thing you'll see when you open Creative Cloud is this dialog box. I'm going to uncheck this. Um, I like to just update the software when I want to. So I'm going to uncheck Always Keep Creative Cloud Desktop up to date. But I am going to install the latest version of Creative Cloud. So go ahead and install that. That's going to ask for your password and username, obviously. So I'm just going to put mine in. And that's going to install the update to Creative Cloud. Now, just be aware, this is only updating the Creative Cloud desktop application. It's not updating all the other apps that are part of Creative Cloud. That will be done in an, a second step, which I'm going to show you in a second. Now, eventually you'll come to this dialogue here where you're going to click on apps and that's going to open up this new window, which is telling me that the new release of Creative Cloud is here. So obviously I want to update these applications, but I also want to keep the old versions of the applications. Now, there's something built in to the application which defaults to getting rid of all your old software. So it's really important that you don't miss this next step. So basically what I'm going to do is, is go to update all and it's going to ask me again for my username and password. So let's just put that in. Okay. Now, there is an advanced options down here. You do not want to click update before you click update go to advanced options and just uncheck remove old versions. Um, and it's up to you whether you want to import previous settings and preferences or not. Sometimes if it's a clean install, I like to have the default settings and preferences and start from scratch. So I'm going to unselect both import previous settings and preferences. And the most important one, uncheck remove old versions. Now you're safe to go ahead and update your software and it will go through cr um, creating new packages of all of the applications, keeping all of your CC 2014 and CS6 applications installed. If you didn't select that option, it will basically get rid of everything and refresh it with new software. So just be careful with that. I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you. And I hope you enjoy using the new Creative Cloud applications. There'll be more tutorials from me on specifically on After Effects CC and the Adobe Character Animator coming soon. So thanks a lot for watching and please share this video and let as many people know as possible about that little preference there. If you want to find out more about me, you can do online. I've got my website at angietaylor.co.uk where you can find lots of free tutorials. I'm also offering one-to-one -one training in Adobe software at Creative Cabin. That's creative-cabin.co.uk. You can also log on to Twitter and follow me there and get lots of tips on After Effects and other software. That's the Angie Taylor Twitter handle. And finally, on Facebook, I have a couple of groups and pages on Facebook where I also offer help and tips on Adobe software. Thanks a lot for watching this video tutorial and please share it with your friends to make sure they don't accidentally delete their old versions of Adobe software.